Hello everyone, welcome back to Eltris' recap of our Thursday night streams, which are now Monday night streams. So if you are watching this today or tomorrow, <laughs> you're ahead of the stream. If you are watching it Monday or later, well, Monday, you could be watching it on Monday and the streams today, um, but most likely you're watching it afterwards and you've missed it, so look out for the next recap of that stream. We're pulling it back. It's Mondays now. Still going to be half past seven just earlier in the week. Don't miss it. Or do miss it and watch the recap. I think I say that every time, but it remains true. Uh, we've been doing some work. Pete, uh, I should acknowledge, has done a lot of work in this one and the previous one. And Tristan was also involved heavily in the lighting up of the area, which I failed to mention last time. Um, and nobody made me feel too bad about it, so uh, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Pete has done all this. He has categorised our crops and he has arranged them in some semblance of order. I believe that in Minecraft um, biodiversity is good as well. If you have crops planted next to one another, you get a lot better of a growth rate, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I remember that from at least vanilla mechanics. Um, we I discovered actually that the problem <laughs> with a lot of the builds I was going to do based on the previous recap, is that these slabs are very expensive. They're not very expensive, but you have to make a, uh, a saw to make them. Uh, let's just have a look at this one, for example. You need to use a handsaw. In the handsaw, there's many different types, but it's two of the type of ingot and three of some type of stick. Um, there are a, a number of options. Um, you can make uh, a gold one, you can make a diamond one, you can make a bronze one or a copper one. Um, and we have been making copper ones, but even, you know, they don't have great durability, so you have to make another one and then another one and then, and then, and then another one. So you end up using up all your saws, making all the planks. And the build that I had in mind for the wall involved planks, because if we turn on F7, turn on F7 and put down, uh, let's say we had, um, let, let's go up here. But up here, there may be something that mobs can spawn on. If you have a, a slab that covers the top of the block, if you have any block that is solid and aligns with the edges of the block above it, you can spawn on it, but you can place a block on the bottom half, a slab on the bottom half, and there you get, um, you know, they can't spawn here. So having a walkway made entirely of bottom half slabs means you cannot get any mobs spawning on it. Same with stairs, you can't spawn on those either. Um, up here, for example, if I hadn't put, or if someone actually, I don't think I put these here because I just thought of it, um, we would have mobs spawning up here and we can't have that. So, um, what, excuse me? What? Tell me. Craft a botanical brewery and use it to create a brew. Okay, whatever. Um, however, the copper problem has been somewhat solved because over here we have a half built building, but within it, someone's covered it the fools. The whole point was that you could chuck stuff in it and also that you could build up. I know you're watching, so when you get to watching, get rid of this. The whole point is you can chuck stuff in it and also we're going to want to make it taller, <laughs> right? The whole point is you can keep making it bigger. That's what that hole was for. Anyway, um, you can chuck stuff in here which is great because it's fun to do that. Uh, this one. I was pressing Q <laughs> in case you were wondering um, and you can see it, it's actually melting so it is there. Um, I'm not going to do that for now. Uh, we started building this building. This was a big hole in the ground and the floor needs sorting out and it's a little bit cramped because when I dug it out it was big and then when we built the thing in it it became small because that's how Minecraft works so I hadn't really considered it um, and I put this plinth here and forgot that of course these would be at head height if you didn't use the plinth. Um, so everything's a little bit cramped and wonky, but that's fine, wasn't it? We've been making a lot of tinker stuff. We finally got to the ability to, you know, melt all this gold down. I think this is still gold in here. It's bronze now, okay. Uh, that means probably these are made of bronze. Can you do that? Or did you just use gold? I don't know. Um, but this doubles ore. So for every piece of ore we throw in here, we get two 
ingots out of it, which is great because now we can make more saws without worrying about how much copper we're using, or at least to some extent we can do that. We still have to go mining for the copper and it's still extremely dangerous out there. Um, so we've been building this. Building takes a lot longer than you might think, especially when you have to craft everything from scratch. All the tools keep wearing out. You know, you can't build slabs without making this, that, and the other. You keep running out of torches, etc. Um, we don't have any good ways of making the torches. Um, well, that's not what I mean. We don't have anything that's better than torches, is what I mean. So we have to just cover everything with torches, especially while we're still building it, um, so that mobs don't spawn <laughs> in our new area. We built this. I, I've built this. Uh, Pete wanted a kitchen, demanded a kitchen, so we've made a kitchen out here, and uh, there's a little bee house. That's really nice. We do like some bees here and there. Um, I am considering bees, actually. That's one of the things that's in my head, because that might be something that I would like to assist with. Uh, sorry, Pete. Um, so I was thinking of apiary. Apiaries are interesting because they benefit from being near trees and flowers. Now, there's obviously a lot of plants in the farm, but this may not be where we keep the farm. I'm not sure. So we'd like the apiary to be somewhere kind of central so we can just build around it and within it. So it might end up being big. Uh, the last time I made an apiary in Minecraft, I really went quite out of the way. I also used Buildcraft to mark out the area because it was going to be so big. And I think I did the maximum size that Buildcraft would allow. It was huge. Uh, and, and we just had sort of a wooden thing, maybe about this big. That's not lined up. That's fine. Um, I noticed that the apiaries are called bee houses. It's possible that apiaries are the ones that are made from multi-blocks. Um, yeah, there's apiaries and there's a bee house as well, because we saw the bee house. So something like, we want to take up a lot of it, is what I'm saying, for the bee area, because we want to have a, a plethora of trees and a plethora of plants within them, so that the bees can all cross-pollinate and stuff, because I think this is still the case. And spoilers, uh, so maybe if you don't want to know about how this mod works yet, close your ears or something, but you can get new types of tree by cross-pollinating trees with one another. Uh, and you do that by having bees near them and then suddenly some leaves change colour and you whack at the leaves with the right tool, you get a new sapling. Um, there's a lot of biology cross-breeding and stuff in forestry, uh, which is the point of the bees. So uh, let's find the bee house that we did have. You, you, gen you end up with a queen. So this is creating... Well, unknown genome right so you're already seeing we don't know what type of bee this is um we could there's a bee <laughs> what's it called look at all these bees there is a like a pokedex for bees and you put the bee in it and a bit of honey and it tells you what it is here you go a portable analyzer genetic analyzer for bees not necessarily that cheap apparently you can make one a right click shows you what you can use it for. That's interesting. I didn't know how to get to that, and now I do. Actually, not that expensive. It is in a carpenter, though, which, as we remember... <laughs> so we're not going to be doing any genetic modification of bees for quite some time. That's fine. We're not even going to know what we've got. Bees. Right. Uh, checks notes. So Lawrence has been doing a lot of um, magic. but I'm going to say the problem with it... The problem with that is that there's not a lot for me to show right now. Um, Pete's work obviously makes an impact on the landscape. Me building stuff makes an impact on the landscape. Mike went around and did all the tinker stuff that's inside it. Tristan was helping as usual. In fact, Tristan and Mike sort of swapped roles this time because Mike was actually doing stuff and Tristan was just being a general dog's body. Tristan has moved all of the storage outside. This is not where it will be for, like, ever, but we said over there is probably where we would have it but that's now we're thinking where the computerized storage will be and we're going to want a lot of these anyway so i want a big warehouse full of drawers and it'd be nice if we could also craft the drawers rather than having to do it all by hand so we've got this out here for now tristan's moved everything into here and presumably people can't read and this contains something other than ore. well gold nuggets is probably more of an ingot than an ore uh, chocolate is still an ingot flint is probably stone i think we can get away with some of this yeah, I'll let you off. Here's a misc chest. At least there is a misc chest for people to you know, deal with. There have been instances. There have been incidents of people misusing the chests, uh, and we are not happy. 
but Tristan's been doing that. So Tristan's work is small amount of impact on the landscape in the sense of there's a few boxes and a large amount of impact on what we've actually been doing because all the boxes have got the right stuff in them which took way longer than presumably actually building the boxes in the first place. Pete went and got a cow which is a Frisian bull which is just... Don't... <laughs> where you eat. Pardon my friend. Um, and... Oh, Mike built the... Um, the, the Tinker stuff, of course, and so now we've got good or doubling, but Lawrence's uh, you know, contribution has mostly been in the quest book. Um, this, we've got white magic, well, we started white magic, ooh. It's made with a book and a saftling. saftling. One, of the thing we, one of the things we did notice is that the recipe for paper is not just sugar canes, but it's sugar canes and two sandstone slabs. Oh, I know what you're thinking. What you're probably doing is getting two stand, stand, I can't even say it, sandstone slabs, smashing them together with the sugar cane and pl papyrus, right? And then you get to keep your sandstone slabs. No, you don't. So, actually, now we can do a little bit of an experiment because I did grow a tree. Where's my tree? Is it this tree? Yes. No, that's maple wood. It's this tree. So this is paper bark. So now I should have paper. <laughs> paper bark writer. Oh, it's falling off. So we've grown this tree. <laughs> it yeets paper off of it. Um, you get one paper per bark, apparently, but um, I think you can probably find that tools. No? If we use a bit of bone meal on this, eventually changes colour and you can just spam it with bone meal and get a load of paper off it. Haha, <laughs> brilliant! So that's what the internet told me we could do and now we've learned that we can. Um, that's how we're going to get paper from now on because I'm not spending a sandstone block and some durability on a saw to cut it in half to make all two pieces of paper. You don't even get three pieces of paper, you get two. So this is going to be our paper source for now. How many have I got just from doing that? 16. Uh, that will be the book which turns into the Let's Go to Tania and then once we've got that we can start on that whole white magic of social St. Lawrence's um, Contribution has been in all the black magic stuff of which I have several more things to hand in a lot of this was a pain in the butt So it's not like he was just slacking off only doing seven Six quests. Well, I've got to complete these so eight or nine quests He had to go around finding mobs killing them properly collecting blood and stuff from them and all that sort of thing so there's many many things to do uh, and <laughs> just in in this quest line so they're getting a bit complicated and Lawrence did finish off some more of the main quest line as well so many things in that regard have been done uh, I understand that a quest a, a quest a chest was made a request a chest was made whereby people will say hey please put in here because we had the idea in the stream to say make a chest and put a sign on it that says some complicated recipe name and then people will come along and put things in that chest that will help for that recipe so if they're feeling at a loose end or if they have some extra stuff bung it in the chest for that recipe and then when it's full the person who was going to make that thing would be they could come back and say there it all is um, so there was somewhere a chest requesting all the ingredients for a um, some sort of generator? I don't know where it is though. I've been a little bit behind on the Discord chat. <laughs> There's too much to catch up on. Oh, Lawrence has made this look. There's a Hellfire Forge. So that's blood magic, which is uh, great fun and also terrifying. Um, so I'm not sure where we put that. Let's have a look. You're probably saying, hey, why don't you look in Discord and we'll find out, but that's okay. Because I think it might not be signed off. This might not actually be... This world might have been saved before that happened. So we will be getting a generator, because that's the next thing on the quest list um, that Lawrence was trying to do, but of course, suddenly it's hard, because I don't know why. Um, we did find some saltpeter at last, but we haven't found enough prosperity yet. Um, so basically, it's been a uh, very good progression on quests. Um, and a decent amount of progression on building. We went off to explore. Should we go and have a look over here? I'll show you what we found over here. We went to explore the village. We all died a little bit. Uh, some of us a lot. There's the boat that we took. Um, 
there's a gorgon. <laughs> Spoilers. You're going to find out about this gorgon that we found. Um, we flung ourselves with great haste across this with our slime slings. I made everybody a slime sling and slime boots at the start of the stream so we could all come over here and explore this village. We found this horrible temple thing which was terrifying because there was a horrible laughing noise in it. Um, there's a lot of clay around here by the way, chaps, so come out here and look for it if you want to. So there was that, but this pit had not been made. There were some, there's some uh, levers, but what I did was because I was mad at the Gorgon, I just destroyed the temple and harvested all the redstone and hello dog, harvested all the redstone and sticky pistons. So uh, <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. There's a Gorgon here and there's my statue. <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> I wonder what the Gorgon drops if you kill it. 30 on 30. Let's get a weapon out. Diamond sword? Sure. I'm trying to use the uh, extra attack thing. There we go. What did you drop? A Gorgon head. Ooh, spoilers, but we're learning. Legendary weapon. <laughs> but it turns baddies into stone. <gasps> Hang on. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, wow. No wonder it's hard to kill. Sapphire ore. So there's a lot of stuff to do, basically. Um, I don't like carrying this around. <laughs> it's old and bone meal. The, the village is, in my opinion, slightly disappointing because when you go to a village in modded Minecraft, you expect to find houses with villagers pertaining to many mobs many mods um, but we found a jam person and one person who will give us emeralds for paper uh, and I'm not surprised actually emeralds are probably easier to get than paper by now but there was not very much here um, there's, there's this jam a librarian yeah. well it's, it's even cheaper it was demanding 30 last time I think this is where I found some salt Peter so I finally got some salt for the quest um, there was some prosperity ore here and there but again we need 30 and I found maybe 7 it's ridiculous how rare it is. Um, there's a temple over there. I think Mike noticed it. We don't think we've visited it yet. Um, but that's something that we're definitely going to need for Lawrence because it's going to count as white magic, I assume. Uh, slightly disappointing village. Other than that, we've just got some plans. We're going to next week, well, on Monday, which is in two days from now, uh, in real life, not in two days from when you're watching it because it's probably gone when you're watching it. Um, we're really just here to plug on with the quests. We've got Tinker's Construct over here. I've got some building to complete. There's going to be some more planning of the walls. Uh, we were thinking of maybe doing an interim stream or two, well I was, <laughs> where we build stuff without really worrying about quest progress or anything. Uh, I don't know if we're there yet because that really will require enough materials to get through the building without having to progress quests to get the materials right because the slabs for example if we can get to a sawmill then we can chop wood in half and make as many slabs as we want to but until then we're going to be wasting materials on swords right so at some point building will probably take more of a focus and therefore i think that a, a stream where we or even if it's just one of the streams but interim time when we do stuff off camera like they've been doing with these uh, Tinker's builds, we can do that offline but online. So you can watch it if you want to, uh, but it won't count as the stream, it'll just be us doing stuff, it won't be quite as entertaining, uh, which is as if such a thing were possible. Ah, look how much sugar cane we've got, we've been going nuts on that. And they've patched up the waterfall. Oh no, they haven't, look, here it is. Patch the waterfall. Uh, so anyway, that's that. We will be seeing you on Monday or in the past and then uh, until next time thanks for watching uh, I'll see you in the next video bye